actually learning and listening from this advice that I'm about to give you is going to save you so much time in your future. So I highly recommend you stick to the end of this and pay attention. It's a hot day, so bear with me, but let's get right into this. Before I actually outline the trap, I want to go over my story from the beginning. Let's go back about two to almost three years ago. It's my last year of primary school and I am getting big. <laughs> this is just before COVID hit and I'm just eating away, getting bigger, bigger and bigger. I think at my peak, I was almost something like 80 kg and bear in mind, I'm only like, what, 12 years old? Now this progression keeps going until I reach the about the end of my seventh year in school. Now this is just when I started high school and I'm about 13 at this point. And this is just the beginning of COVID where I decided to myself that I've had enough. I'm sick and tired of always being the fat guy. I'm done with being overlooked as a person. I realized that because of me being so unattractive, undisciplined, so almost annoying even, that people have overlooked me. And I decided I'm done with that. So in my final couple months of year seven, I decided to start going to the gym. Now, I started off in my home gym. Still, I lost a lot of the weight. I ended up at a minimum of, I think it was 62 kilograms. So that was the end of my cut. I ended up at 62 kilograms. Now, I wasn't really lifting like I do now. I was more just thin. But all I had in my head while training were these two things. It was get the respect of people and the attraction from women. And keep in mind, those things were achieved. That isn't the issue. But as I'm starting to really bulk up now, now we're in year eight, year nine now, right? The kind of middle period of that, I'm starting to be more known as, you know, the fit guy, the gym guy. People start to actually recognize the progress I had made from year six to almost year eight, year nine. I was still somewhat skinny, but certainly much better than I was back then. And then midway through year nine, it kind of hit me. I had really achieved most of what I wanted back then. Without tooting my own horn, I'd gotten the respect of the people I wanted respect from. I'd gotten attraction from the people I wanted attraction from, the validation. Yet, it almost didn't feel done for me. And that, I believe, is the major trap. It's once you've already realized that you've gotten everything you want and that the things that you thought meant so much to you just don't. They mean nothing. At the end of the day, they're all materialistic things that once it's only once you've achieved do you really realize how much they lack in value. So the number one trap I urge you to avoid is to not set your standards to, I don't want to say low, but don't set them like that. Those shouldn't be the goals you aim to achieve because once you've reached them, you're just going to feel lackluster. You're going to want more. And only recently, as I've gotten into my 10th year, I'm 15 now, turning 16, I've realized that these things aren't the things that I want. I want so much more than that. I want genuine, I want genuine achievements and genuine results from those achievements. What does having the respect of some random guy really mean? The attraction from some random girl really mean? Because our caveman brains just go ooga booga ooga booga validation or attraction, blah 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 blah. What does it really signify? If you actually break it down, you realize how little it means. That guy who gives you that respect, you have a nice firm handshake with, is he gonna be a big part of your life? A good long time friend? No. These are one time occurrences that when you walk by someone, all it does is boost your confidence or boost your ego. And at the 
end of the day, that by itself should already be at that standard where it isn't affected by random things like that. But I'm um, seeing this from a mental perspective. A lot of the time, most guys just don't try. And that's what puts so many people in this trap. It's you don't try. And then the second you start trying, you see all these amazing results. Oh, oh, all these guys have respect me. All these, all these guys want me. Blah, 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 blah. And then it just peaks. It's this upward trend, upward trend, upward trend, and then it just peaks, it flails out. And then you realize nothing matters. So learn to avoid this trap. Look more internally, look more within yourself, and realize what you really want. What you really want out of everything you're doing. Not just if you're in the gym. You want to start martial arts, you want to climb up the ranks. What is your end result? Why do you? Although most people try using the same bitch excuse, oh, man, 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 I want to, I, I do it for myself. No, most people have the intent of pulling bitches. And of course, to some degree, people still do. I still do to some degree, but it's not my main focus anymore. Right, that's the end of the run. <laughs>